we partner with community-based organizations um, who focus on innovative ways uh, um, uh, in HIV prevention. Um, when I started thinking about uh, CTAOP in, in 2007, it really was through just educating myself and seeing how much immediate care there was. There was a response to HIV, but there really wasn't, I didn't feel, and still today, don't feel like there's a lot of investment in, in, uh, in prevention, which, you know, now and since 07, since I've been in, and longer, just being a South African and being passionate about this subject, just realizing that that really is the only way that we can actually stop HIV completely. Not just control it, not curb it, not cause a dent in it, but actually stop it completely, which is completely plausible. Um, and so we realized that we could maybe facilitate those community-based organizations on the ground with, um, and help with helping them uh, realize their own potential and kind of bringing them to scale and and looking at their models and their, the models that were working and and helping them um, bring that to capacity. Um, we also really function very well um, kind of linking that information that we get from, from our on the ground organizations, our grassroots community-based organizations, and linking that to the advocacy that we do with UNAIDS or Global Fund, and helping them guide them to where that investment is the most productive. Um, and, and we've done really well with that. And then also just, you know, we look for investment and partnership um, on the public and, and, and um, um, uh, uh, private sector. We just recently uh, connected the German government with on-the-ground community-based organizations that fell within their mission. You know, they brought a, a tremendous amount of resources and, and um, capacity to uh, these organizations. And just, you know, I think that is really the, the theme of the success of where we are today. It really is in organizations who support um, community-based organizations and understanding the power of them um, that work together like our organizations and you know it's it's what we can do on this level on this stage that that we could never do on the community-based level right. and I think it's the combination of using this stage to our best ability and and getting that awareness out there and having people want to invest in it and then taking that investment to the community and letting them actually do they're the experts we're not right. the experts right. nobody in this room is an expert unless you're actually living in that community right. and you want the best for your community that's when you actually make permanent change when you can get a community to buy in that's it you're done right. and you know a lot of people believe that's that's where we've lacked because you, 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 you kind of work in the masses, and then that, that last mile, that extra mile that you have to kind of infiltrate where the most vulnerable people are, are the, that's the hardest um, area to, to get into.